Welcome back. I'm Nicole BW, and this is Stone Block Two. And it's been about a week since I recorded the last episode, and I have spent hours. So I started putting things up around here. I put in this grass area, the little mob farm. Put down my item magnet to help me get the items that fall in. There's all of these things. I would like to open these up because I need three ender pearls and I only have two, which is sad. I did put in a ground trap from Pam's Harvest Craft and put some bait in there. I didn't make very much bait, um, but I needed leather and uh so I, that's what one of these empty spots was, is leather. And yeah, I um, kind of wasted that. <laughs> so it, it's all right. It's all right. So uh, there's a lot going on. And don't look at the mini map yet. So I um, grew some mineral and acacia wood. And I'm growing some spruce. I put in a little uh, farm and I grew some rice and some wheat because rice will be able to use for slime balls uh, instead of slime balls. And uh, yeah, wheat we're going to need for the chickens. I also put down some ancient, ancient seeds, which I got from sifting sand and uh, made some. Uh, witch water if you put sand in the witch water uh, it turns into soul sand which then you can sift in uh, a diamond mesh or I think there's another mesh I can't remember if it's iron or flint um, one gives you they both give you quartz uh, the diamond also has a chance of giving you a gas tier and then the other one gives you black quartz. Uh, so I needed quartz. <sighs> so I also made a tank so that I'm collecting lava as I go. So here's the thing. We have a mob down there. Is it an enderman? If it's not an enderman, we won't bother. Yeah, we're not bothering. There's so many creepers. So here's the thing. Um, I was gonna start digging out and to put in an area where I can set up like auto sifting and start gathering stuff. And I thought, you know what? I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and dig out my base. So if you noticed on the mini map, <laughs> there's a thing over here. So behind this wall, I've spent hours working on this. So be kind. So this is um, my design of the base. So one side is going to be acacia. The other side is going to be mineral. I put little uh, grass areas there. And then if we go up the acacia stairs, there's another acacia room and there's a mineral room on the other side. So it goes back and forth, back and forth. For six layers, there are six layers of two rooms. So there's 12 rooms like this. So six of them are orange and six of them are blue. And um, yeah, so if you notice, uh, let's... Let's go up one more. Uh, if you notice, there are these little rooms underneath each one. So that way I can get underneath for piping. Very important. And the little platform I can get over across to the other side. So, um, yeah. So that is... Uh, I have to find the side with the ladder. 
<laughs> because there's a ladder that goes all the way up and all the way down. So it goes all the way up here. So I don't have enough spruce wood to put in the corners. So not all of the rooms are completed. But if we go down the ladder this way, find find the find the ladder. Uh, you guys can see there's gonna be my mob farm. I kind of set that up and just I I feel like I I like it I like it yeah so and there's even a room underneath the bottom room so. <sighs> Today, <laughs> me, I'm, I still need to, I need more, I need more wood. It uses four and a half stacks per room of spruce wood. I wanted to use great wood, but I couldn't get the great wood saplings. So the great wood saplings, um, you can get by sifting compressed flesh block, but it's only a 5% chance. And that is rotten flesh around leather. And yeah, I that's why I said I wasted the leather because I thought I would give it a chance because the great the um, example that I made in my testing world to see what I wanted it to look like, uh, the great wood looks really good. Uh, but unfortunately I can't get that. So let's open these up because I want to see if I get, uh, let's, let's do this. Uh, no, no ender pearls. We did get some seared brick. Lap is some more leather. So that's good. And uncommon. Ooh, we got slime boots. Uh, I should probably put those on in case I fall off. <laughs> oh, and a crescent hammer. Awesome. Now we can pick up our tank. And we got some. Nice. So, uh, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. Uh, that away. That. And uh, this we'll put over here. And then, the, well, I can't put the rest in. Ooh. Uh, wait a second. Let's move this. Let me put the bait in there. That's fine. And slime boots. Yay. Okay. So what I would like to do today is, um, sure I got all of it. Okay. I would like to set up the Tinker Smeltery. So I went ahead and made a grout and I used half a stack of each item and it gave me four stacks of beard brick. So I don't know if that's going to be enough for what we need and i went ahead and made those items if this isn't enough then we can make some more i have i have more i made a stack of each thing so um let's check the quest book because i did get some things done off camera and it wasn't intentional. It was just kind of a byproduct of uh, what I needed. So uh, I went ahead and made a cobblestone generator. So that's um, pretty easy to make. It's just um, cobblestone glass and a bucket of lava and water. And you can use clay buckets for that as well. So that's what I used. And... Um, so that way I had cobblestone. This was before I dug out the big hole. <laughs> uh, so we got another generator. I, we've already, this is the fourth generator. I, you know what? It's, it's fine. It's fine. 
So, um, we have our crucible, which is good. Uh, I went ahead and put a hopper on top and I've just kind of been emptying it in there. I did have it full, uh, but then I made some obsidian and then I made another rack and which is, um, lava in the stone barrel minus the water. You, you don't want the water there. And then redstone, you just click, right click it with redstone. And it turns into netherrack. So I ended up using up a lot of lava doing those things. I have plants. I want to do all of this stuff. Uh, it's just, I need nether emerald or ender pearl, not emerald. Uh, so I have those two things done. The smeltery, we need a controller, a drain, seared tank, faucet, two seared bricks, and a casting table. So it doesn't need a casting basin or anything unusual. Okay, we can do that. Uh, under storage, I did need to make the storage upgrades for the wood that I need. Uh, so I went ahead and made the emerald upgrades because I did have a lot of emeralds. So we will just go ahead and select that. Ooh, nice. Got demonically, oops, a uh, gargantuan drum. That. Okay. Um... Oh, and I also made a storage crate for all of the, since I was getting a lot of stone, I was compressing it and then I just started sifting, or I hammered it and then just started sifting that stuff. So, let's see, the chickens, it was just the, the bait that I put in the ground trap. Oh, now I get a building gadget, okay. That seems fair. All right, prosperity shards was just a byproduct of sifting. The inferium essence was a byproduct of killing mobs. So I didn't really get a whole lot. Got more phantom faces. I don't have enough room for anything. Here we go. This is kind of my, I've sifted these and I don't really need this stuff quite yet sort of thing. Ooh, I will need lava. Let's grab, I'm so glad we got a crystal wrench. I'm going to grab our uh, lava tank as well. Okay, so we are going to need a... Pretty sure I remember these recipes. Uh, so we are going to need a controller. You put glass in the middle. It's a seared tank. Uh, we're going to need a table. We're going to go ahead and make a casting basin as well. Uh, we'll make two of the faucets. We only need to make one though. Uh, we're going to need a drain. And then what I like to do is make at least one uh, window so I can see inside because I'm curious. <laughs> so, um, and then we'll make seared bricks. Uh, as we go, because I don't know how many we're going to need. Or how, ooh, <gasps> we got drops of evil. Oh, no. That is going to help so much with our mob farm. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Okay. All right. Let's. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to where uh, the room that I need to put this in. Okay. Let me look at my little diagram that I made where everything goes. It's the one, two, 
fourth room up. So on on this side. So that was one, two, three, four. Okay. So in this room uh is kind of my miscellaneous other room. Uh for things that I'm not really sure what to do with. Did I put this in the machine room? Not really a machine. Let's just leave it in here. Um, I think... Let's put it on this side, because I will... If I'm using the stairs, I'll be coming from over there. So let's put it right in front. Um, okay. So we are going to... Let... The, we should probably put the tank in the back. Okay. Then that. Then we'll do that. Okay. And then we're gonna have, I think, the controller. I should have thought about where things go. Controller, and then we'll have the window, and then we'll have the drain there. So those go there. Uh, then we can yeah to the left that there so I could that and then the hoppers really I do this after I've finished making it but that's okay. Uh, we're going to do table there, the basin there. Okay. And then we'll do the rest. In seared bricks. So, um, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. So... We need at least 13 more. Um, seven. And let's do that. I think that should make it so it's three tall. Okay, so we are going to need to add uh, torches up here. We can make it taller, that's fine, but I usually just do... Oh, I forgot I have slime bins. <laughs> um, but I usually just do three tall because it's not that big a deal. Uh, so now we have our tank. Can I? Oh, I can right click it. Oh, that's nice. I thought I was going to have to put each bucket on. Okay. So then we're going to put this over this, but we're going to put a lever on it and turn it off for now because we're going to need to make a cast. 
So we'll put one of the ingots in there so that way we'll be able to make the cast. So a cast uh, is made with either two ingots of gold or one ingot of molten brass. So brass is oh wait why i think it's it's copper and something else isn't it aluminum brass there we go uh three aluminum to one copper okay so are we all good there's no red okay I don't want to come up here and there's like skeleton shooting at me. All right. So let's go down, back down. Stop. Okay. And get our three aluminum and one copper, right? It was copper and aluminum. Yes. Okay. So, uh, that should make that. Is it this room? No, it's be the next room. I'm going to get so confused. <laughs> I'm going to be so confused where things are. All right. So, the aluminum usually melts really fast. Uh, that's why we have the clock turned off so it doesn't pour it out. Once this mixes and alloys together, then we'll be able to make an ingot cast. I'm pretty sure I can just I can go ahead and do that all right it does use up the ingot that's why I use the seared brick uh, because that's it's not that big of a waste uh, and now we also have seven more ingots of so we can make seven more casts if we want so my tools are pretty cheap. I mean, they're all just stone tools. So possibly we could make uh, some more uh, like different parts for our tools, uh, but I'm not sure. I think that is going to be it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, it was a lot of work for me, but not much payoff for you guys. I realized that it is, ooh, it is dark right there. It's because I took the lava thing away, which was lighting up everything. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, I, I I spent a lot of time, a lot of time building this, digging it out. I went through a lot of picks, but I'll show you what I used. I used these, and they're not hard to make. So the recipe is a diamond and reinforced obsidian ingots, which is made... You get nine of them, uh, so you can make four picks with just one of these. And this is made with four obsidian and iron bars. And it gives you four of them. So for four obsidian and uh, six iron, I was able to make a lot of those picks. I went through a lot of diamonds, hence why I sifted a lot of of stuff and I still got 20 diamonds left so 
I did a lot of sifting uh, off camera and while waiting for, you know, wood to grow, basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll be able to double my ores now with the smeltery and I can get those processed, which means we can also alloy some stuff and get like Electrum and Invar, stuff like that. Uh, because the next thing I would like to do is um, I would like to get the mob farm up and going so we can get loot boxes or loot crates. And uh, in order to do that, I'd like to make an anti-barrel, which will hold all of the armor and weapons that they drop. Uh, but that is going to take an Eye of Ender, which takes an Ender Pearl. Uh, I also want to make an Absorption Hopper, which makes takes another Eye of Ender. Uh, and, um, oh, and I want to make Item Conduits, which takes Pulsating Iron. Uh, and that takes an Ender Pearl. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not worried about the alloy smelter. It's going to be pretty easy to make. I have everything already. And uh, we have all of those generators. I can use that to power it. Uh, so I'm not worried about being able to alloy stuff um, between the smeltery and then making one of those. It shouldn't be a problem. I pretty much have all of the stuff to do that. Um, I have the the rice balls and the sugar cane for these like and now we have the oh, where to go drops of evil I can make it cursed earth man we have all the wood to be able to make barrels because I'm gonna make I'm gonna use the Yaba barrels for the mob farm anyway I keep talking. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.